What are sub queries in SQL? Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Nohav Academy. In this video, I am going to explain it to you what are sub queries in SQL Server, what is the syntax of sub query with few examples. So, directly before telling you the technical terminology sub query and explain it to you on SQL Server, let me give you few real-time examples which will be helpful for you in order to relate your example with the subquery. So for this, I would like to recap all those things that you have studied in your schooling. So most probably, I can call in your 9th standard and in your 10th standard, we all might have seen or we all might have learned something called as a flow chart. Am I right? We all might have learned something called as flowchart. What is a flowchart? A step-by-step -step procedure in order to complete the task. A step-by-step -step procedure that you are showing how you will be completing the task, what all the parameters that are required. Am I right? So in the same way, if we take a real-time example of constructing a building, okay? If we take an example of constructing a building, there are multiple operations that are required while we are constructing a building. Am I right? There are multiple operations required. So now here, the point is that when we are constructing a building, we directly don't go and start making up the pillars. Am I right? There should be a proper plan. There is a proper architecture. Many engineers are required. Contractors are required. You know, many people are involved or the stakeholders while we are constructing a building. So what do they do? They come, they estimate, they see where is the water level, they dig a bore well. So again, they start up the basement work. So there are multiple step-by-step -step procedures that they do while we are constructing a building. No one will come and directly start constructing the fifth floor when the building is not existing at all. So we follow a step-by-step -step procedure, right? So multiple operations are required. Everything cannot complete in a one go. There is, There are some steps that you need to follow. In the same way, when you are involved in performing multiple operations in a query, then it is not possible to write only one big query for all those multiple operations. What we need to do? We need to split the query into multiple parts or we, we have to split the query into sub queries. That's where sub queries comes into the picture. All right. So what you are doing, you are you when you are trying to perform the multiple operations, it is not possible for you to write a complete big query for all these kind of operations. So what you do, you split the query into two parts, into three parts, you split it. All right. So what is that called? That is called as sub query. Okay. When you are trying to write a query inside another query, that is called as a sub query in SQL. Very simple. Very simple. So if I talk to you about the, uh, what exactly the technical terminology, how you would like to express it when this type of question is asked in interview, then you can tell that we use sub query when the result that you requires more than one query and you would like to perform multiple operations. For example, you have to do the sum of multiple columns. All right. And after you sum the multiple columns, then you again, you have to do average of those columns. So it is not possible to do in one go. You have to split it. You need to create a sub query inside a query. Then you have to execute the query. So that's where sub queries comes into the picture. So now if I uh, talk to you regarding the syntax, Okay, the syntax of subquery. Understand the syntax, the whole concept is easy. All right. So the syntax is that you have to write a select statement. So in this select statement, we need to mention the columns that we would like to choose it, that we have to see it in the output and from which table are we using it. Always remember whenever you see a square bracket in a SQL syntax, it means that that is optional. Either you might write it, you might choose it, either you don't choose it. It's up to you. It's optional. So what I'm telling you are writing a select statement with the column name and from which table are you choosing it, right? Then you write the where condition. Then you write the where condition. In the where condition, you choose the column name. Now you have to write the operator. You leave this operator for instance. Let me explain it to you back. You leave this operator at instance. Now what I'm doing? I am writing the where condition with a column name. You leave the operator for few seconds. 
then you are opening up a bracket and you are writing another selected statement in it this is the subquery you are opening the bracket and you are closing the bracket and you are writing some another select statement inside your main query this is my subquery now this is my subquery now all right so now to your main query and to your subquery there should be some connectivity there should be some connectivity that connectivity in order to connect our main query with the subquery depending upon the requirement that we have got in our project we use the operator we use the operator so what are the operators we have we have greater than less than not in between exist in so where there are various operators that we have it in our sql server all right so let me explain the syntax to you back again so we are writing a select statement with the column name and this column you are choosing from which table that table name you have to write it with the where condition in the where condition obviously you are choosing a column name now you have to write the operator depending upon which which operator you have to choose that depends upon the requirement that you have got in the project right so depending upon the question that the interviewer has asked to you if you are attending the interview so then after you write the operator you have to open the bracket and write another select statement that's where this is the my subquery this is the subquery and this is my main query so this is the syntax so if i explain it to you in a very easy way with some basic example with a basic example so the example is that i want to display the second highest salary of a delivery person i want to display the second highest salary of a delivery person so now you might think that what is this delivery person so i have a delivery person table in my database now from that delivery person table i have to see the highest salary what highest salary highest salary of employees no i want to see who is having the second highest salary so if i want to find out the highest salary i can go with the maximum of salary that's it but i want to see what is my highest salary so that's where your sub query comes into the picture there are two uh, things that you have to do here first you need to find out what is the highest salary from that you have to find out what is the second highest salary no that's where sub query comes into the picture so let me execute it to you here i'll write the select statement select first let me write what is my highest salary that's where maximum of salary comes into the picture maximum of salary from i have a table called delivery person that's where i choose the table delivery person table so if i execute and show it to you the delivery person table then it's something like this as we can see here in this delivery person table i have first name of a delivery person second name of a delivery person gender delivery person's email id his contact numbers address city state rating date of birth zip code and the salary of each delivery person okay so now coming to the point i have to find out what is the second highest salary so for that what i am doing first i am finding out what is my maximum salary so for this what i am doing let me execute to you let me execute to you 26.10 is my maximum salary okay so now again if i would like to show it to you the table called salary select a salary column salary column from which table from delivery person table okay let me order by the salary column in a descending order okay so if i execute this one if you see here 26.10 no as i have kept descending order it means that from big value to the smaller value so 26.10 is bigger after 26.10 we can see that the next highest salary is 19 the third highest salary is 18.17 so now my picture is that i have to get 19 in the output that's where my second highest salary comes into the picture so what i am trying to do now i have written what is my maximum salary as per the syntax if we see i have written the column name from which table i have written it right from which table i have written it now what should i write it i need to write where column name with the operator now i am writing where condition where what is the column name column name is salary 
where salary is less than i am choosing the operator called less than why less than what is my maximum salary my maximum salary is 26.10 am i right my maximum salary is 26.10 so whichever the value is less than my maximum salary whichever value is less than 26.10 will be my second highest salary right so that's where i am writing less than now you have to open up the bracket and write the sub query again i am writing the same sub query select max of salary column from which table from delivery person table okay so it means that i have 26.10 here okay so out of this 26.10 whichever the salary is less than uh, less than this maximum salary that maximum salary i have to get in the output so if i execute this we get 19 that's where is my second highest salary of a delivery person comes into the picture so it's very simple the whole logic depends upon what operator you are going to use it when you are writing your sub query when you are writing the sub query so always remember the question that is been asked you need to choose the right operator so that's what i have told you that it purely depends upon the requirement of the project also so sub query is nothing but i cannot complete this display second highest salary of a delivery person question in a one single go so for that in order to make me the work simpler in order to understand in order to no make understand the client you know what exactly uh, he wants and uh, if he sees the queries also if she sees the queries also then they should also you know understand very easily because that's where sub queries comes in the picture i have split my query into two one is main query and other one is a sub query so this is one question okay this is uh, one question so i would like to show it to you another question as well so if you see here the question is that list out the order details which order amount is higher than the average order amount so my question is that i want to see those order details whose order amount is higher than the average order amount so for this let me first show you the order master table where i have this column called discount amount order status and i have payment amount okay so payment amount is the amount that we pay for the order right that this, this this is a very important column rather than this discount amount column i have pay amount that is what we pay for the order so i would like to see what is my highest pay order okay when compared to my average order amount so for this i would like to show it to you what is my average pay amount first okay so now my average pay amount is 88.305 so whichever value is bigger than 88.305 that is my mother is my answer so that's what it is asking order amount should be which is higher than the average order amount so my average order amount itself is 88.30 so which is the highest order amount when compared to this average order amount that should be my output so for this what i am doing i am selecting every column from this order master table so where i am writing the column name called pay amount so that's where we have to find out the value so now what i am telling whichever the pay amount is greater than my average pay amount that should be my value whichever pay amount is greater than my average pay amount that is my answer you know, as simple as such so if i execute it if i execute it if you see here i am getting only those details i am getting only those details or those pay amount values which are greater than 88.30 if you see here in this pay amount you will not see any particular value below 88.30 everything is above 88.30 if you are getting confused with the whole table let me just write the pay amount column here so that it will be easy for you to understand so now if i execute it we see that every value which is 88 point greater than 88.30 no value is Get less than 88.30. We have 88.38. No, that's also bigger. So if you see here, so what is my average pay amount? My average pay amount is 88.30. So whichever value is greater than my 88.30 is my answer. So that's where 
you are having a logic here right so this is how you have to write a sub queries based upon now we have to link it with the operators so there are multiple examples that we can do and it purely depends upon the requirements that you face in your day-to-day -day scenarios when you are working in any project or depending upon the question that interviewer has asked you while you are attending any interview so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning